The GBD Pocket 3 has received a few revisions over the years. The latest features the Intel Pentium Gold 7505 CPU to replace the N6000 models. Let's see how it fares including benchmarks and comparisons with others including the One Netbook 5 and A1 Pro. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it helps to grow this channel and we can keep making videos. Thanks! The GBD Pocket 3 measures around 7.79 by 5.3 by 0.78 inches and weighs 725 grams. The gunmetal coloured case is made from an aluminium alloy. It does add a little extra weight but it feels sturdy in your hands and keeps it well protected from bumps and scrapes. The lid opens to reveal an 8 inch H IPS touchscreen display with a 1920x1200 resolution. The 2-in-1 design allows you to twist the display and fold it closed to create a tablet style functionality. Lifting and twisting it back restores it back for laptop use. The display has a 2 megapixel camera with a 1600x1200 resolution and built in microphone. It is useful for online video or audio only meetings. The lower half features left middle and right mouse buttons, a power button with a built in fingerprint scanner and on the right a touchpad supporting up to three finger gestures. There is a full QWERTY keyboard. It is backlit and can be switched off and on. The keys are chocolate style and fairly low profile, requiring minimum effort to press. I spent some time using the keyboard right in this review and I found it very comfortable to use. The keys are a perfect size and it feels like typing on a normal keyboard, but with your hands a little closer together than say compared to a desktop keyboard. On the left side we have a USB Thunderbolt 4 port and a HDMI port for output to an external display. And on the right side there are two USB 3.2 ports and a 3.5mm headphone port. The back has a 2.5 gigs Ethernet port for fast wired data. And last but not least there is a modular port. It comes with a USB 3.2 port module as standard and can be swapped with other modules sold separately. Replacing the module is simply a case of removing the two screws, removing the module itself, inserting the new one and then screwing it back in. There are currently two modules available, a single port KVM module with HDMI and USB input and a RS232 DB9 port. These two modules are especially useful for industry, as an example with hardware level access, requiring data analysing or controlling with a display, keyboard and mouse. There is software included to use the KVM. As mentioned the Pocket 3 can be transformed into a tablet. It will be thicker than your usual tablet device but it does provide a more rugged appearance and grip which is reassuring. It is fully compatible with the GBD stylus available separately as well as the Surface Pen using the MPP2 protocol. It is great for taking notes and working on artwork for example, like me who cannot draw anything. The GBD Pocket 3 features the Intel Pentium Gold 7505 processor which has two cores and four threads, running up to 3.5GHz with a 25W TDP. The GPU is an Intel UHD running up to 1250MHz. There are 16GB of LPDDR4X RAM and for storage there is an upgradable 512GB M.2 SSD. For communications there is Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3 and of course the 2.5GB Ethernet. It runs on two 500mAh batteries. In our test, while I was running the highly demanding Cinebench benchmark on a loop, we got a battery life of 2 hours 10 minutes. And whilst idle on the desktop, we saw around 11 to 12 hours battery life. Average usage will put you around 5 to 6 hours. In our fan noise and temperature tests whilst running Cinebench, we got a highest fan noise of 59 decibels and highest temperature of 49 degrees C. We will be comparing the GBD Pocket 3 model with the previous two models as well as the One Netbook 5 and A1 Pro. For PC Mark, we overall see good scores for the GBD Pocket 3, far ahead of the previous N6000 model and in front of the One Netbook A1 Pro. It does remain behind the more expensive and powerful Intel i7 found in other Pocket 3 and One Netbook 5. In Cinebench R23 we see a fairly good score for the GBD Pocket 3. We have faster single and multi-core performance than the N6000 and A1 Pro models. Again, not as high performance as the i7 which is to be expected. Whilst these mini laptops are not designed for gaming on, they do have integrated GPUs. 
These are also used for tasks such as media decoding, up to image and video editing. In TimeSpy, we got a very impressive score of 953, beating the N6000 and A1 Pro by a large amount. It even comes fairly close to the i7 model, which is impressive. By using the USB-C and HDMI ports, you can connect two external monitors supporting up to 4K 60Hz or a single monitor via the USB-C port supporting up to 8K 60Hz. Here we are showing it with our Droix PM14 4K portable monitors, which look great together. With the USB Thunderbolt 4 port, you can connect it up to an eGPU such as the GBD G1 eGPU docking station. This will massively increase the graphics performance and allow for demanding tasks such as image and video editing as well as rendering. The GBD Pocket 3 with the G1 sees an impressive boost. In TimeSpy we got 953 on the iGPU compared to 6067 here. And in the more demanding Night Raid and Fire Strike benchmarks, we got 18,129 and 11,564 respectively, which are very close scores to the One Netbook 5. The eGPU offers a more desktop-like experience in the home or office, where you may need that extra boost in performance and not have to consider battery life for example. Let us know in the comments what you think of the new 2024 model of GPD Pocket 3. Do keep in mind this is not a Tay gaming handheld, it is more for the serious user. What would you use one for? And here are our thoughts on the GPD Pocket 3. In terms of performance, the Intel 7505 model offers a good increase in performance over the previous N6000 model. We saw higher scores in all of the benchmarks, especially in GPU performance. Whilst not as high performance as the i7 models, those do cost a fair amount more money which is something to keep in mind. For day to day usage, whether that's at home or in office, working on large office documents and even light image editing, you will have no issues. You also have the capability of connecting to two additional monitors, and of course if you do require more performance you have the option of an eGPU. The real strengths are in its industry use. The option of having an RS-232 port is an essential for many. There are external options available, but these can be unreliable and it means additional hardware and cables to carry around. Having it built in makes it far more convenient. The portability is another large positive. Whilst the 8 inch touchscreen may seem small, it's a great balance in terms of portability and usability. It's small enough to fit in a jacket pocket or small bag and easily carried one handed in both laptop or tablet mode. I could not really find anything to dislike about the GBD Pocket 3. The Pocket series has been a popular ultrabook for a good few years now and it has everything you need for day to day whether that be at the home, in office or off site work. We highly recommend it if you want a solid 2-in-1 Ultrabook and tablet that won't let you down. You can learn more about the GBD Pocket 3 and order yours today from us at droix.co.uk and droix.net for worldwide shipping. Use the discount code POCKET35OFF on the checkout for 5% off. The code is valid for one month of the posting of this review and cannot be used during store sales or other promotions. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss out on our future videos. That wraps up our review of the GPD Pocket 3 7505 model. We hope you have found it useful and we expect to see you back in the next video.